So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a short video um, and it's designed to really test and exercise your psychic muscles and we're going to have a little go at uh, ESP cards. So ESP cards, also known as Zena cards, they're used to conduct experiments of extrasensory perception, also known as ESP, and uh, clairvoyance. And these were invented by psychologist Carl Zenner, hence the name. He designed the cards in the early 1930s for these experiments that he conducted with his colleague, who was a parapsychologist, uh, Jay Ryan. And they got interested after hearing author Sir Arthur Conan Doyle give a lecture attesting to the scientific proof that one could actually communicate with the dead. So Ryan became interested in examining ESP and he set up a, a laboratory to test out subjects for psychic abilities. So he devised a test using cards called ESP cards or Zener cards as they're also known. And they're basically a deck of 25 cards. Five of each has a specific symbol on it. So a square, a circle, a star, a cross or wavy lines. And really, this is a great way to exercise and to build your psychic muscles up. You know, it's fun to do with a partner, um, either in person or on the other end of a phone or, you know, virtually. Um, and alternatively, you can do it on your own because there are a lot of inter internet sites and apps where you can test yourself um, in the comfort of your own home. And I'll put some links below to that. Now, if you're doing it with another person, one of you will be the receiver um, so that's the one who guesses the symbol or intuits the symbol. And the other one is the sender. So the job of the sender is to project the image or, or the name or the feeling that um, the symbol gives them to the receiver. And the receiver works at being a clear and open channel to receive the information. So as a receiver, remember to stay open to how information comes to you. So you might see an image um, or part of an image. You might hear words. You might just know or you might see the name of the symbol. You might even just feel an emotion associated with, with each. It really um, depends on you. And before I start an activity like this, I like to spend a couple of minutes centering my energy. So doing some nice kind of deep, deep breathing, um, some meditation to put me in the right headspace for this. And you also might like to create some kind of, you know, ambience for the uh, exercise in the room. Um, I like to burn, uh, burn incense. And I've said before, Nag Champa is my favorite. And I also suggest that you um, work through the cards quickly so that you can work from your intuition rather than trying it out with your logical brain. Um, so speed is important. Now you can buy Zena cards online and I will post a link below if that's what you want to do or you can make them yourself and uh, that's what I did. Um, if you make them yourself, um, just make sure that you use cards so you can't see through them. Um, as as the um, as they're being sent, so I made the set that we will be practicing with um, in a moment. So I suggest that you're going to need a uh, paper and pen, and maybe create a little bit of you know columns like this, so one to twenty five, so that you can uh, record your answers as a, re a a receiver. The other important thing is that the person who's sending them keeps the um, keeps the cards in order, so that you're able able to confirm what was sent um, and in what order and what you received. So um, two important uh, things to, to think about. So go and get your paper, go and get your, your pen, create your columns and um, I'll see you after that and we'll have a go ourselves. So hopefully you've got everything that you need. Um, maybe you've taken a little bit of time to do some deep breathing, some you know, a bit of meditation, and you're ready and eager to uh, to to start. And I'm going to be um, 
going through each of the cards i've got 25 they're well shuffled and all i'm going to ask you to do is to just you know close your eyes if you need to close your eyes or you know tune in if you need to tune in and we're going to go through the cards and you're going to see what what you can um what you can determine from from that i am just putting my hand in front of it just in case but this is the first one guys Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number 10. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. So, how did you do? We're going to review that now. So, number one was wavy lines. Number two was a star. Number three, a circle. Number four, oops, a star. Number five, wavy lines. Number six, a square. Number seven, a square. Number eight, a square. Number nine, a cross. Number 10, wavy lines. Number 11, a cross. 
Number 12, a cross. Number 13, a cross. Number 14, a star. Number 15, wavy lines. Number 16, a cross. Number 17, a circle. Number 18, a circle. Number 19, wavy lines. Number 20, a star. Number 21, a star. Number 22, a square. Number 23, a square. Number 24, a circle. And finally, number 25, a circle. So, how did you do? Um, have you managed to add up your total that you got correct yet? Um, if not, do that now because I am going to uh, share with you um, how to analyse your results. So, uh, typically, most people, so 79% of people, will get between 3 and 7 correct. So, did you fall into that? So, the likelihood is it's just chance. It, there's nothing uh, psychic or ESP going on. Um, the probability of guessing eight or more correctly, oh, now that reduces significantly, so that's 10.9%. Um, and you can, uh, you know, in a group uh, of, of 25, expect, you know, several scores in this, this range. So if we were doing, if I was testing 25 people, you'd expect to get some, some people um, uh, guessing or intuiting uh, eight or more correctly. Now the chances of getting 15 more, uh, fifteen or more correct is about 1 in 90,000. So that's a very interesting um, phenomena. You know, there must be something more um, going on than just chance, just the, you know, random look at the draw. Um, 20 out of 25 has a probability of about 1 in 5 billion. And guessing all 25 correct has a chance of about one in 300 quadrillion. So that goes to show, you know, if you are getting higher numbers, then there's likely to be more than chance and just probability going on. Now, I have used this exercise uh, many times in psychic development circles and in uh, psychic development uh, workshops, and it really is a fun, easy thing to do that will uh, definitely um, help you to uh, enhance your psychic abilities and, and certainly tap into your, your intuition. Now, one of the phenomena that I've seen in the, um, it, you know, in the classes that I've uh, that I've run, is that very often you'll get um, you'll get students that are, you know, they they um, they guess correctly, but it's the one be it's the one after or the one one before, and that happens kind of consistently. Now, I'm not quite sure what's going on on there. Whether you know you're kind of tapping into what's coming next, but um, it's definitely a phenomena that I've seen a lot of. Um, and for the most part, as we're, you know, as we're practicing it, you know, people do tend to get into that kind of, you know, um, five to 10 range. And then occasionally we do get some, um, some individuals that are, are hitting more of those. And like anything, I would say practice makes perfect. It's really easy to to um, make these Zener cards. You don't have to buy them. I just use those little index cards and print it out. Um, and I found these online. I just printed them out, cut them out, and stuck them on with a you know a, a sticky stick. Um, I think that's the technical term, sticky stick. And so it, it cost me nothing and as well, very little. And um, as long as you've got five of each symbol, so, you know, a cross, a circle, a square, wavy lines and a star, then you have a set of Zener cards. Now, if you do want to go um, up market, you can purchase a set of Zener cards and I will um, find, uh, find out where to purchase those from and I'll pop a link below. 
Um, and I'll also link in where some of the free sites are that you can kind of uh, test yourself using these ESP cards um, online. And so it's it's kind of like a program and it, you just start it and then it will um, cycle through the cards and you've got to, you know, intuit them and it'll give you a score at the end of those. And there's also an app. I think there's an app for everything, but there is an app. Um, so I'll link that below as well. So if you are, um, you know, looking to develop your, your psychic and in, intuition um, solo, then you'll be able to do those. And like anything, I think um, regularity and practice is really important. So this is something that, that you can do on a fairly regular basis, maybe a couple of times um, a week to uh, get yourself into the swing of that. If you are lucky enough to have a, you know, a friend or a group of friends that um, want to um, kind of come together to develop your psychic skills collectively, Again, a really, really uh, nice and easy uh, activity to do. And this is this video is one of a series of videos that you know either I've done or I'm intending to do, um, all about um, developing your psychic development and your intuition. And I'll link those below as well. I, um, you know, the the plan is that you can you know use these exercises in in circle if you're sitting in in circle with a group or or on your own and you've got a really good you know kind of foundation to build your psychic muscles up so i hope you've enjoyed this video um if you if you have please do consider subscribing and smash the bell because every time i upload a video you will be notified and my my aim is to upload um at least two a week sometimes three three a week um so please do subscribe please do comment below on how you got on because you know i love to read uh, read the comments and find out how the how the activity worked for you um, and if you've got any ideas on videos that you'd like to see or any psychic development, um, you know, activities or exercises or way to, Im to improve, please let, let me know either in the comments below or I'll also pop my email address on there as well and you can email me di directly. So enjoy the rest of your day and uh, good luck with the ESP cards.